Today we address the question, what is the difference between retinol and retinal, which is short for retinaldehyde, and which one should I use? The short answer is retinaldehyde is a much more effective and stronger retinoid than retinol by about 10 times. If you're completely new to retinoids, then I'd actually recommend starting out with a product that has retinol in a 0.1% to 0.3% concentration range. After about a few months, if your skin feels fine and you can tolerate a little more, I then step up to retinaldehyde. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. So by now, you've probably heard of retinoids, a family of vitamin A derivatives and their amazing skin benefits. The most famous retinoids in skincare are retinol, spelled with an O, and retinaldehyde, also known as retinal, spelled with an A, and retinoic acid, also known as tretinoin or retin-A, which is available by prescription only. Out of these three retinoids, only retinoic acid has a direct effect on our skin cells. Retinol and retinaldehyde must be converted into retinoic acid in order to work. So how does this conversion happen? It's actually through enzymes. First, retinol gets converted into retinaldehyde. Then, retinaldehyde gets converted into retinoic acid. Retinol is two steps removed from retinoic acid, while retinaldehyde is just one step removed. The reason why retinol is so much weaker than retinaldehyde or retinoic acid is because a conversion that makes retinol become retinaldehyde is inefficient. It's kind of like trying to FaceTime over a really bad cell signal, just not a lot gets through. However, the conversion step that makes retinaldehyde into retinoic acid is efficient. It's like FaceTiming over really good Wi-Fi or 5G. Everything can get through. Since there needs to be one less conversion, and this conversion is efficient, Retinaldehyde is much more powerful than retinol and almost as effective as prescription-only retinoic acid. But as amazing as retinoids are, they can also cause irritation for some people. Here is where retinaldehyde really shines in that despite its high potency, it's actually relatively very gentle. It's almost as powerful as prescription-only tretinoin, but with significantly less irritation. There is a lot of scientific research and evidence behind this that will go in depth in our future videos. And finally, there is an additional unique bonus attribute that sets retinaldehyde apart from retinol and retinoic acid. Retinaldehyde can kill acne-causing bacteria. This figure is reproduced from a 1999 study conducted by Pacher and colleagues in which they found significant reduction in bacterial population where skin is treated with retinaldehyde. So, if your main goal is treating acne and preventing it from coming back, then I highly recommend retinaldehyde. First, because retinoids in general help treat acne, and second, because retinaldehyde itself is very unique in that it can kill acne-causing bacteria. In general, I recommend using retinal over retinol, especially if treating acne is your key objective. But as they say with skincare, it is better to go slow and steady and then to ramp up. So if you're completely new to using any type of retinoid product, start with retinol with the O, and then gradually move on to retinal with the A later on. Click on the link below for an in-depth write-up on retinoids that we published last year that goes way more into detail. If you like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.